spraying operation. Spraying operation is a key process of plant protection operation. Whether the operation in this process is standardized or standard will directly affect the operation efficiency and flight safety. This lecture mainly introduces the entire process of spraying operation and the cleaning and maintenance after operation. Confirm that the installation of Revo spray system has been completed. Perform spraying calibration. To ensure precise spraying operation, spraying calibration should be carried out in the following situations. The Revo spray system is used for the first time. The impeller pump or impeller is replaced with a new one. The Revo spray system has not been in use for a long time. Dual nozzles are changed to four nozzles. Or four nozzles are changed to dual nozzles. Take the fuselage mounted with dual nozzles for example. Operation steps. 1. Turn on the XAG1 app. Tap me device and select drone to enter the drone's device details. 2. Tap to enter the spraying system screen. Select liquid tank capacity and select the corresponding liquid tank capacity. Select manual calibration and add an appropriate amount of water to the liquid tank according to prompts on the screen. 4. Prepare an empty container and place it under S1 nozzle. Then tap P1 start calibration. 5. After P1 sprayer calibration is finished, add an appropriate amount of water to the smart liquid tank again according to prompts on the screen of the app. 6. Place the container under the S2 sprayer. Check empty container has been placed under S2 nozzle. And tap P2, start calibration. 7. After P2, sprayer calibration is finished. Tap done to finish spraying calibration. Note, if four nozzles are changed to dual nozzles, please plug up the two tubes not mounted with nozzles. Otherwise, the calibration accuracy will be affected. Pre-flight check. To ensure flight safety, Please strictly observe relevant guidance to fully complete safety checks of the drone device, environment and people before flight. For more details about pre-flight checks, please refer to Lecture 03, Routine Pre-Flight Checks. Parameter Setting Launch the XAG1 app. Tap the Operation button on the home page. Select the field for Operation on the map. Tap OK. Now you can see that a route has been automatically generated for the Operation field selected and you can tap Operation Settings to change the operation parameters. Operation Settings include Basic Parameter Settings and Advanced Parameter Settings. Tap Operation Settings Basic to enter the corresponding screen and set the following parameters in sequence. Spraying Settings 1. Spray Volume The dosage of spraying liquid can be adjusted as needed by dragging the slider. 2. Atomized Droplet Refer to the atomized droplet size, which is recommended to be set to 60 micrometers to 400 micrometers and can be adjusted according to the liquid and the crop. The smaller the droplet, the easier it is to be absorbed by the crop, but it is also volatile. 3. Spray during lane change. It refers to a work mode that allows a drone to spray at a bend when it turns to another route at the end of a route. It is recommended to enable this function if there are crops at bends. Operating route. Operating route refers to the flight path of the drone in the operation area, which involves the setting of parameters including altitude and speed, route direction and spacing and safety clearance in turn. Set parameters according to the actual operation route direction and spacing. One heading, it can be adjusted by dragging the route direction adjustment bar. An appropriate route direction can reduce the number of turns the drone makes and improve flight efficiency. Two route spacing refer to the distance between two routes, also known as spray width. Safety clearance. One uniform boundary safety clearance. A boundary safety clearance should be set if there are obstacles on the field boundary extending into the field such as canopies, so as to avoid colliding with obstacles or drifting off the field. 2. Special Boundary Safety Clearance Refer to the different boundary safety distances on either side of field boundary that can be independently adjusted according to operation demands. 3. Obstacle Safety Clearance The safe distance between a route and an obstacle can be changed by adjusting parameters so as to avoid colliding with the obstacle. Access Route Refer to the flight route that a drone follows when entering and exiting the operation field. The following parameters should be set in turn. Flight height, refer to the flight height of a drone that can be set when entering or flying out of the operation area at the takeoff or landing site. Flight speed, refer to the flight speed of a drone that can be set when entering or flying out of the operation area at the takeoff or landing site. The modes of access route include guide point mode and safety zone mode. Guide point mode, when entering or leaving a field. The drone must first pass through the guide point to ensure flight safety. It is suitable for situations where there are many obstacles within the range of access routes for operation and a specific route is required for entry and exit. This is a default function that enables a drone to fly to the guide point before following the standard mode on a round trip. Note, the guide point cannot be moved outside the safe field boundary and the obstacle zone. 
2. Safety Zone Mode It means that a drone follows a straight route to enter or exit a field. If there are obstacles in the field, it will bypass. It is suitable for situations where there are no obstacles between the RTH point and the white zone of the field, or all the obstacles have been mapped. Note, ensure that all the obstacles in the white sector safety zone have been mapped in advance or there are no obstacles affecting operation safety in the zone. Terrain Radar to ensure the flight safety and spraying effect. The terrain following function can be enabled to keep a fixed height between the flying drone and the top of crops. Note, the default status of radar terrain following function is that selected last time. If this function is disabled when setting the last field, it will not be automatically enabled when another operation field is selected prior to operation. It is needed to confirm whether this function is enabled or disabled. In water surface operation scenarios, the radar terrain following function cannot be used. Obstacle avoidance function. It is recommended to enable this function to enhance drone safety. Spraying operation settings, advanced parameters. Operation range. This function can be used when only part of the route needs to be operated. For example, a heavy infestation of crops is found on the route. Standard, the starting route and ending route can be selected by dragging the route selection adjustment bar or tapping the route selection button below. Edge application. This function enables intensive spraying to the area above the field boundary. Waypoint resumption. After this function is enabled, the drone returns to resume operation when the operation is not finished and automatically plans the best route to enter the unfinished zone. Improving efficiency, reducing full load flight, and decreasing battery consumption. Note, confirm whether this function is enabled or not before operation. 3D route operation, when operating in mountainous and hilly areas where there are up and downs on the flight route. This function can be enabled in combination with 3D HD map to ensure safe flight and operation. Fly only operation. The application system of the drone will not work in the fly only operation mode. Perform operation. After setting the flight parameters, tap the close button on the right side. After returning to the operation interface, tap start operation. Confirm that all checks before takeoff are completed and the ambient environment is safe. Then tick relevant prompts and slide the takeoff button. The drone will perform the takeoff operation after the end of self-testing countdown. Upon daily operation, launch the XAG1 app. Enter the spraying system interface. Tap discharge remaining chemicals to fully discharge residual liquid in the liquid tank and tubes. Clean them with soapy water and clear water. Note, after cleaning the liquid tank and pipes with soapy water or detergent solution, clean it again with clear water until there are no bubbles. Wipe the surface of the drone with a piece of wet cloth that has been run out to remove stains and adhere dirt.